Hi kids! Today I am going to make some interesting patterns. Join me to learn how to make patterns. Let's first make a pattern using two shapes. That is a triangle and a circle. I will make a triangle. Now a circle. Now a triangle. Now a circle again. Now a triangle. Now a circle again. Yay! So beautiful pattern. I want to continue. Which shape to use next? Circle? No! It seems to be in the wrong order. I should use a triangle. Yeah! Now everything seems to be in order as the pattern that we are repeating here is a triangle. Then a circle. Such a repeated pattern is called core pattern. Now let's make another pattern. We will use three shapes here. A triangle, a circle, and a square. Now let's make a pattern. First, use triangle, then a circle, then a square. Is it looking nice? So, this will be our core pattern, or the pattern that we will be repeating. Now, let's continue making it. What will come next? We will have to use all three shapes. Now, we will use again the first shape we used. So, take a triangle. Now a circle. Now a square. Looking nice! Yeah! Now, what will come next? Circle? No! Square? No! Triangle? Yeah! This is right, as we have to repeat the core pattern after a square. And... Our core pattern starts with a triangle. Yeah, it's looking nice. Now let's make another pattern. Using alphabets. A, B, and C. Let's first write A. Then B. And then C, C. So the core pattern will be A, B, C, C. Now let's repeat this core pattern to make a bigger pattern. Which shape to use next? We have to repeat the core pattern now. So... Again, A, then B, and then C, C. Now let's continue. Again, repeat the core pattern. It's looking nice. Now, can you tell me what will come next? See the core pattern. And according to the core pattern, C, C comes after B. So, C, C 
will come. Good. Now, let's make another pattern using arrows. Let's first make an arrow downwards. Now, two arrows upwards. Again, one arrow downwards. And two arrows upwards. Again, one arrow downwards. And two arrows upwards. So, the core pattern will be one arrow downwards and two arrows upwards. Now, let's repeat this core pattern to make bigger pattern. Which shape to use next? We have to repeat the core pattern now. So, first shape of core pattern will come, that is, one arrow downwards. It's looking nice. Now, can you tell me what will come next? See the core pattern and according to core pattern, two more arrows upward will come. Yeah, it's complete now. Good. So, what we have learned, we have learned to make patterns and complete patterns using the core patterns. That is, the pattern we are repeating. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.